So the 2023 Game Awards has just finished and there were a ton of new announcements. So the following series of videos is basically just me reacting to all the game announcements that I'm excited about, as well as all the announcements that really have quite a lot of potential. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, the new game from P, actually is it from P Studio? I don't really know, but it's from the creators of Persona basically. Um, Metaphor Re Fantasio. So this was like that, I think it was what, Ari Fantasy or something game that they announced ages ago and then it got rebranded to Metaphor Re Fantasio and it got showed off. Um, and it's really, really cool. It's got, it's definitely got the Persona DNA and it's something I'm super excited about. I don't know about other people who played Persona or like the JPRPG sort of genre, if they're excited about it, but I'm super excited about this game. Um, and yeah, they've got a new trailer for the Game Awards 2023. It doesn't say, uh, like announcement for the release date or anything like that, but we'll have a look. Maybe it does have it at the end. It's a story about a world very different from ours. It's a world where all people are equal and no conflict exists. Oh, so much like what a world. world. His Highness once dreamt of. Dreamt to of. Another way, okay. This is a fantasy. Oh, so it's fake. <laughs> from the creators of Persona 5, uh, 3, 4, 5, Atlas, Studio Zero. The fool of a king is dead. So not exactly Peace Studio. Like yeah, you can do. Oh, it's got some open world elements. Oh, okay, that's pretty interesting. Character design by Old Mate Kota Kazuma. Oh, worked on Neo Automata. Shoji Meguro. I mean, again, like, there's not really much that I can say besides that I'm super excited about it. So it looks like they've expanded onto, like, the open world combat before you actually get into a battle. Oh, Katsura Hashino. I love the style. Oh, looks like you've got some companion. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Companions? And you can romance them or something? I don't know. Oh, what manner of story you'll Let's do it. Yeah, so you got confidants, trust me. Social links, metaphor, refantasia. All right, so that was a lot of shit that went on. Um, oh, actually, hang on, the trailer's not ended yet. Do we have a release date? Ah, okay, fall 2024. It, well, it's coming next year, so obviously still very excited. Um, a lot of shit just happened, so let me just go back. First of all, it looks like right. You have some open world like sort of combat elements right so obviously you've got one character here open world combat elements and then if you zoom forward a little bit he's got he's got a target here right and he's got obviously you got you know you got your party and whatnot you've got a mini map but you can call your squad so it looks like he fights it right and then he calls his squad and then you get into battle and then this is where, like, you know, you got your skill. So you got skill, call, power, pass, yield, turn, guard, raise defenses, melee, wield arms, and then obviously items. But it's really awesome that the style is sort of like the P5 HUD sort of-ish style with the health bars and whatnot. That's really cool. Um, I think, I think to this day, I think Persona 5 has one of the best user interfaces of all of gaming. It's just so sick. So yeah, you've got all this. Obviously, you've got Shigenori Shijima, character design. You've got bloody... I didn't realize that they got some person working from Neo Automata. You've got Shoji Meguro, which is a composer. So I'm expecting some really, 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 really awesome OST. Um, looks like, you know, open world travel, blah, blah, blah. Katsura Hishino, which is, you know, a god. And it looks like here you've got you're you're chatting up some confidants social links and then it looks like you've got three so obviously this person has chosen the right answer quote unquote um yeah and it looks like look at this world it looks pretty big um mission days until a path opens mission 12 uh, oh, 12 days, I guess. So it looks like it does also have like a day-to-day -day system, sort of like with Persona. So basically, it's just it's just, it's just just Persona, but repackaged. And I know that sounds really, really crude, but th that's pretty much exactly what I want. Um, the world looks interesting. Um, you know, it's a story about, well, at least to me, it sounds like a story about a king trying to sort of 
you know, retake the throne in his own sort of way and a bunch of random people and shit are getting in his way. Um, so redemption story, I guess. But yeah, it looks really cool. This is what I'm super interested in is, is obviously in Persona, you have Personas. But here, you've got these synthesis, synthesis Knight, Jump Thrust, Jump Thrust Hammer of Justice. So it looks like he has awakened something here. And then this is the Knight character. And then he's doing the Jump Thrust. And then he's got something here. If I can just get to it. So that's he's done here. And there's crystals things. We don't know what that is. But it looks like he's awakened something here. Which is where sort of the hopes. things come from. I will not. Now let's see what manner of story that looks like he's got the social link. Or let's upgraded it. it. You'll be a hero. This one looks like he's summoning his synthesis. Or he's synthesizing his, his knight character. Hero. Trust me. Yeah. Anyway. Regardless, I'm super excited. Coming out in fall 2024. Um, I even though it's advertises Xbox, um, I'm pretty sure it is coming out for PS5. So um, don't be alarmed about that one. Also, don't quote me, but I'm 99% sure it's also coming out on PS5. But let me know what you thought in the comments down below of Metaphor Re Fantasio. Uh, definitely a mouthful of a name. Um, I'm excited. Um, oh, it's going to be distributed by Sega. So Sega's definitely cooking this Game Awards <laughs> and this year, or will be cooking next year. Um, but yeah, super excited. More Persona. Honestly, what can you, more, more can you want? And it looks like it's combined Persona and Shin Megami Tensei into like this new IP, basically. And I'm super excited. Uh, I'm a sucker for these types of games. So yeah, let me know what you thought. Um, and yeah, Fall 2024. I'll be waiting.